Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to day number 23 of 31 Days of Tutorials. My name, as usual, is Ryan Hafey with Hafey Digital. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to set up and save your own custom workspace in Premiere Pro. Workspace is basically refers to how all your different panels are arranged in Premiere Pro based on your editing workflow preferences. How do you like things laid out? That's that's your workspace. And Premiere Pro actually offers a number of default workspaces you can choose from. You can see them all laid out here at the top. And if you don't see these, you can always go to window and go down to workspaces, make sure that box is checked. And these are all set up to help you depending on what kind of editing you're doing. So let's say you're doing some color grading. You might wanna use the color workspace because it has the Lumetri color panel over here, as well as the Lumetri scopes here. So it makes it easier just to kind of see things all in one place when you're doing your color grades. There's also an effects workspace that uh, makes it easy to apply and adjust effects as you go. It's also important to note that all of these workspaces are 100% percent customizable. Uh, you can actually click and drag any of these panels and move them wherever you want them to go. Let's say for whatever reason, I want this right here. There, there you go. Now I will say if you start moving panels around, sometimes it can get a little bit difficult to remember where it came from and it can be a little quirky to try to get that panel back in the right spot. So if you find that you've gone a little too far and you need to reset things, you can just go up here, hit this little drop down next to the workspace you're on and choose reset to save layout and boom, there you go, back to normal. It's also important to note that undo does not work with workspace adjustments. In other words, don't try to use Command or Control Z to undo any changes you made to your workspace because all it will do is undo the last change you made to your project. It's also important to note that you can add or remove panels as you see fit. So let's say, for example, I don't need this audio meter here. I can simply right click at the top, there it goes, hit close panel, and then if I decide that, you know, I actually do need that audio panel, I can just go back up to window, and audio meters, and then it brings it right back for me. So with that out of the way, let's get into how to actually save a custom workspace. So you're in Premiere, let's say you've got all your panels exactly the way you want. This is the layout you want to save as your custom workspace. All you need to do is go up to Window, Workspaces, and Save as New Workspace. Give it a title, I'm just gonna call it Hello, why not? Hit OK. And then if you look up at the top, you will see now you have your custom workspace. But let's say that you've been working in your custom workspace for a while and you've determined that, you know what, I'd rather have the audio meters over on this side of the timeline and you want to kind of resave your custom workspace with the audio meters over there. All you need to do is go back up to window, again, workspaces, and instead of saving as a new workspace, this time just click save changes to this workspace. Boom, and now that change is saved. And that's all there is to it. So what's your favorite custom workspace to use? Tell me about it in the comments below and come back and see us again tomorrow for day number 24 of 31 Days of Tutorials. Bye-bye. <laughs>